Everybody have a seat. Where's Jill going? Out of here. Just kidding. She's ordering salad. Well, she would have been really good at all taken care of. Can everybody please rise for our Pledge of Allegiance, please? And let's see if Joan's going to come in here. If she doesn't. I think we should start. I mean, it's just not a pledge waits for no one. Okay. Joan, Pledge of Allegiance, Joan. What's that? Could you start us off, please? Okay. <laughs> okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag. The United States of America, the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, invisible, Okay, um, do we have a Bill, we have a prayer for the day. All right. Uh, will you uh, please join your hands together and pray with me? Okay. Let us pray together, each one of us, according to our individual beliefs. Let us offer thanks for our food, our food, blessings for one another. Let us be a source of hope for those in need and contentment for those who are lonely. Let us give gratitude for our opportunities to serve over with the feelings of love, kindness, and a well-directed, let gentle spirit always be reflected in our actions. Amen. Amen. Okay, Ken. Um, I, everybody's seeing what's up there, so I'm not reading it. People have told me, Betty, Facebook is a great way to keep in touch with old friends. At my age, if I wanted to keep in touch with old friends, I need a Ouija board. Betty White. We were Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have a seat. And there was an old, old guy there. The younger guy, the solo guy there, sitting next to me, and the senator came up and said, Would you like to eat here or with your classmates? That's a thought. Take it to the great car. Maybe you can find him. <laughs> you okay, Jeff? No, it's like you can hear him. I'm going to come over there. Uh -huh. Sure, yeah. Uh, it's like over. Yeah. It's so noisy. Thank you. Uh -oh. Thank you. Where is everybody? We all have COVID. Ah. Yeah, so well, thank you for everybody that is attending today in person. Those of you on Zoom, hello. Who's on Zoom, Brian? Um, Wendy. Uh, Jesse. Gordon. Okay. Oh, Hello to Winnie, Jesse, and Gordon. And to our guest speaker, it is, uh, I forgot it. Kinshaw. 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 Okay, great. So we have a lot of things coming up here, folks. New Year. We've got to kick it off. As I said in my message, if you read that in the great, but who read my message? Great. Tell the people. That's good. What did that message say? What was the biggest takeaway from that message? Bring a guest. Where is it? We're all guests. I brought Ken. <laughs> 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 yeah, everybody. Let's bring Ken then. You can find more. That'd actually be fun. So the biggest <laughs> takeaway from that message Everyone was. Okay. Yeah. Ken. Thank you. Thank you. I had your um, call. Biggest takeaway from the message is that. We need to gain membership. That's the number one priority of this year. We want to double this club in size. Now, who here is committed to bringing one guest to a meeting and activity once a month? Who can do that? You can do that. Who else can commit to that? You can't, Ken? Yeah, Well, raise your hand then. Anybody else? I'll be able to get somebody. I'll do my best. I will do my best. Okay, that's all we're asking you to do your best. How about on Zoom? What about Miss Marioni? She said yes. Okay, great. So the Gordon Smith. All right. Now, to help your efforts, we have new marketing material <laughs> that was just released from Jerry Gibson. This I want everybody. Okay. This is 
taps us around and to take as many as you need. These are new business cards. Ken, attention, please. We have new business cards to pass out to new prospects. When you're out and about dining, having drinks like Ken Tavernier at a bar, several bars, you now have a tool that is a business card to pass out two new prospects. Yes. Excuse me, Mr. Let's make sure we know that when we walk into our club. So I don't want Yeah, not just to anybody, but to go to some sleazy bar. I think you should look to your right. I don't want to go to sleazy bar. I'm going to bring back the people that are under the chairs. Great. I agree with you. So any 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 questions about our membership drive for this year? So do we think this is wise to how to direct them for Is that what we're Well we have to have a contact person on there. And I I, I tend to to check messages and return calls in a timely manner, unlike other folks. Oh. There's so. the room you can on. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. So is everybody in on this? Everybody in? Yeah. Raise your hand. Everybody in? Dave? I, 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 I. Dave, I, I. Dave, can you hear me? So moving on to announcements. I guess I can't. January 8th. Deb Davis is contributing to the Play Garden at Almond and Lake Fundraiser. That's going to be this Saturday, right, Brian? Yes. At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Um, does everybody know where that is? Yes. That location? I do. It's right across from the Welcome to Alma and Signs. Right. The one that Ken had put up back in the day. Back in the day. So, yeah, so they're, they're wanting to take a picture, I believe. Is that right, Brian? Yes. yes. Of our club, because obviously we're spearheading this endeavor. So, to speak. so that's, again, 10 a.m. to Saturday. Okay, so who's going to be there? Anybody here going to be able to make that? I, I can't because I got a district meeting to attend. Ken's going to be there. Yeah, I'll Jason's going to be there. Anybody else? This is a good time to bring checks for Deb's um, campaign for the uh, excuse, excuse, excuse me. If you want to support her. Excuse me. We need female leadership that's not bought by the union. Excuse me. Yes, if you want to say something, Brian? Yes, yes. we are not political, not partisan, so let's not start picking that stuff up. Just move on to the next one, please. Yes. Apparently, on the 8th, we're having an eagle ceremony for Jason Lee at Adventure Christian Church on Hicks Road in Los Gatos. I don't know much about that. Who knows more about that? Can we? Well, I know about it. They invited me. I don't have a time they on that. Us. Yeah, this they is invited one of your people, us. man. There's no time on that, bro. Yes, it's one of my people. <laughs> <laughs> Probably out of Troop 294. Um, I would have to go with that. Brian, do we have a time on that? 11 o'clock. So that's 11 o'clock as well this Saturday. The 13th of January, Rod Beardon, chair of Beyond Rotary Climate Action Council, will be speaking. Uh, if you don't know him, he's a big... Transportation guy, isn't that correct, Brian? Yeah. In fact, that whole station is named after him, right, Brian? Yeah. Yeah, but he's been everything in downtown. Right. Yeah. Council. Yeah. Then the 20th of January, Jennifer Lyle from Relay for Life will be speaking regarding cancer fundraising. On the 27th of January, Don Copen, Executive Director of the Library of San Jose. We'll be talking about the San Jose Library Foundation. On February 3rd, mark your calendars, Club Assembly Night at 6 p.m. Does everybody know what that is? Maybe our new members don't. I won't. You won't be here, Ken? Ken's so that's that's a time when we discuss business. It's all about business. And we'd like everybody to attend that, that can, if possible. And put your business hats on. We're going to be talking business, right, Brian? Yeah. Okay, good. What if you want to wear a skirt? Yeah. Sexist, you watch I'm going to let Ken talk about this since he's real talkative today. Ken, talk to us about February 13th, the Super Bowl party. February 13th, uh, Super Bowl, whatever, what are we at now? Six, something? Uh, Super Bowl, we will have it at my house. 
We're going to go indoor outdoor depending on the weather. And um, we've done it before. So um, I have a newly put in back thing. So we'll figure that one out. Brian wanted to bring, have people bring an appetizer and then beer, but I, normally I just kind of do it. So we'll just, let's get closer to the date. We'll figure it out. I kind of want, normally I kind of see who's in it, what the cities are, and then kind of do food around that. So um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, so love to have everybody come. We've had, I mean, I, I think one time we had like 100 people there, which was great. I mean, it was fun. It's, it's always a good time, and there'll be other, there'll be non-Rotarians, there'll just be a ton of people, so it'll be fun, it'll, it may end up, that may be when I end up celebrating my birthday, so oh, you can come excellent. have birthday cake too. February 3rd. And you'll be how old, Ken? Uh, 52. Yeah, right. <laughs> Such a young pup. So I, I was I, so just encourage you. We will so depending on how, what goes on, we'll so we'll probably start selling squares a couple weeks before, and then sell squares again at the party just to get everybody involved. And there'll be other stuff going on in terms of um, just different events. I don't know if you guys play cornhole normally, like a lot of people play cornhole. I believe you have a rookie's announcement. Uh, for the the two target. Ken, do we have a projection of who you think might be in the Super Bowl? What is your prediction? Uh, I think we'll have a good idea after this Sunday. I think the Rams are pretty tough, depending on if they get their act together. But I'm asking you, as of today, who do you predict? Oh, that's today? Oh, I have no clue. I have a clue. I mean, what are you going to say? And Tampa Bay doesn't have any wide receivers left, so they're not <laughs> uh, KC is hard to beat. I don't know. I think I need to have KC Dallas. There's two good teams. So we have Dallas, we'll have some barbecue going on. Probably both from KC too. We'll have ribs, chicken, dry tip, all that stuff. And I like it. Beans and mac and cheese. Okay, then wrapping up for the month of February, we have Jennifer Jones, first woman president of Rotary International. Um, is that going to be via Zoom, Brian, or how's that going to work? Isn't that a black hawk? No, that's at the Blackhawk. Is that Brian? Is that the one at Blackhawk? Yeah, that's the last the, one. That's the, I'll go to the next yeah. page. No. You have. Yeah. There she is. Yes. Now, Jenny Jones. Just to let you know, me personally, I believe this is out of my budget. I mean, I could pay it, no problem, but I believe 150 is way too much for something like this for dinner. But you guys can do what you want. That's interesting. I'm not Coming from a guy that would routinely go to Cascals and probably drop two, three hundred bucks, but that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Brian, do you have any idea what the 150 includes besides your dinner and the speaker? I think they, they use this as a fine rate. That's why. They probably should note that more because that's a lot of money. Yeah. Are you trying to tell us your cheese? 